For the best nursing lectures, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay connected and tune with us. Hello everyone, my name is Gagandeep Kaur Uppal. Today I am with you with interesting topic that is nutrition. Today we will learn all about nutrition and its classification. So welcome to all of you. So let's begin the lecture. Introduction of nutrition. Nutrition is vital component to overall wellness and health. Diet affect energy, well-being and many diseases states. There is a connection between lifetime nutritional habits and the risk of many chronic diseases like diabetes, cardiovascular disease and many more. A well-balanced diet can prevent such conditions and improve the level of energy and overall health and wellness. The basis of nutrition is food. Nutrition Definition Nutrition is the science that interprets or explains the nutrients and other substances in food in relation to maintenance, maintenance, growth, reproduction, health, and diseases of an organism. It includes food intake, absorption, assimilation, biosynthesis, catabolism, and excretion. It is a part of food that is used by our cells and metabolized by the body to make all the contributions that our body needs. In simple words, the nutrition is the study of food in relation to health. Here I, I use some terms like absorption, biosynthesis, catabolism and excretion and metabolism. So absorption means that it is a process where nutrients from food are absorbed by the body into the bloodstream while biosynthesis means the production of complex molecule within the living cells uh, catabolism means the breakdown of complex molecules to form simpler ones in, within the living organism while breakdown of complex molecules there is a release of an energy which is used by our cells excretion means that the waste product that expel by our body and metabolism means the it is a chemical process of transforming food into the other substance just to sustain in life uh, so next is nutrients definition nutrients are compound in food essential to life and health providing us energy and the building blocks for repairment and growth of damaged cells or tissues and substances necessary to regulate the chemical process in simple words nutrient is a chemical comp component needed by the body to provide energy to build and repair tissues and to regulate the life process so food next is food food is any, any substance consumed to provide nutritional support for an organism so let's talk about the classification of nutrients nutrients are categorized into two groups first is macronutrients second is micronutrients first macronutrients macro means big big nutrients these nutrients required in large amount that provide the energy needed by by body to maintain the functions and carry out the activities of daily life it means that macronutrients are required by our body in large quantity which provide us energy to perform different kind of activities second is micronutrients micro means small small nutrients these nutrients are essential elements needed by life in small quantity micronutrients are nutrients those required by our body in small amount micronutrients don't provide any kind of energy but it is crucial for our body to take it for an example water 
Water don't provide energy. However, the body need adequate amount to ensure that all body cells function properly. There are six nutrients which are further classified according to size and the energy. Under micronutrients, there are carbohydrate, protein, and fat. Under micronutrients, there are vitamins, minerals, and water. So let's discuss about carbohydrates definition. Carbohydrates are one of the three main classes of foods and a source of energy. Carbohydrates are mainly sugars and starches that the body breaks down into glucose. A glucose is a simple sugar that the body can use to feed its cell. It is an organic compound containing carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Carbohydrates are produced by the process of photosynthesis from water, carbon dioxide and the sun. The total requirement of carbohydrate per day is 50 to 70 percent. One gram of carbohydrate is equal to four calories. The absorption of carbon carbohydrates begin around three to six hours after the eating food. The classification of carbohydrates are the following. First is monosaccharide, second is disaccharide and third is polysaccharide. Monosaccharides. Mono means single, saccharide means sugar or starches. Definition. Monosaccharide also called simple sugar and are the simplest form of sugar and the most basic units of carbohydrate. They cannot be further hydrolyzed to simpler compounds because they are the simple sugar or the simplest form of sugar. So they cannot be further divided. Types of monosaccharides. A. Glucose. It is one of the body's preferred source of fuel in the form of carbohydrate. People get glucose from bread, fruits, vegetables and the dairy products. Glucose other name is blood sugar. Second is fructose. It's a type of simple sugar. It is also called fruit sugar and the good source of fructose are ripe fruits and honey. Third is galactose. It is not found in nature not found in any free food. It is a sugar that found in the milk. It is produced from lactose by digestion and it is converted to glucose. Second type of carbohydrate is disaccharide. Di means two, saccharide means sugar. So two sugars. Definition. Disaccharides are sugar that form when two simple sugar Monosaccharide plus monosaccharide combined to form a disaccharide. Types of disaccharides. First is sucrose, which is also known as cane sugar, table sugar, beet sugar. Sucrose is the product of glucose plus fructose, which are the monosaccharides. B is maltose, known as malt sugar derived from the digestion of starch. Maltose is the product of two glucose, which are the monosaccharides. Third is lactose, milk sugar, least sweet among sugar. Source of lactose are milk and milk product. The lactose is the product of glucose plus galactose. Third is polysaccharide. Definition. Poly means many, saccharide means sugar. Many sugar are linked together to form a polysaccharide. Definition. Polysaccharide is a large molecule made up of many smaller monosaccharides which are linked together. Type of polysaccharides are first is starch. It is the most important storage polysaccharide on the planet. Glycogen and starch are produced by the animals and the plants respectively. Or a storage of form of carbohydrates in the plants. It supplies energy for a long period of time. Stores Source of starches are cereals, grain, rice, and wheat. B is dextrin, which are dextrin are not found in free food. It is intermediate product of starch digestion and maltose plus two glucose units. The source of dextrin are toasted bread plus application of dry heat.
C. Glycogen or also known as animal starch. A storage form of carbohydrate in the body found in the liver and muscles. Muscle glycogen supply energy directly to the surrounding tissues during the work. And the liver glycogen is converted to glucose to be used in the body through the process called glycogenesis. The source of glycogen are liver, oysters, and the muscle meat. Fourth, fiber, also known as roughest, because they form bulk of the diet, is the part is the part of plant-based foods. Foods are grain, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and bean that the body can't break down. It passes through the body undigested, keeping your digestive system clean and healthy. Easing bowel movements and flushing cholesterol and harmful carcinogens out of the body. It acts as broom in our digestive tract. In digestible part of the food and the primary constituent of plant cell wall. It is not undigested by human due to lack of enzymes and that will split or break it. Daily use of fiber is 20 to 35 gram. Let's explain the functions of carbohydrates. Carbohydrate is the chief source of energy. Protein sparing, it supplies energy to the body and takes part in the building body tissues to some limited extent. It acts as the regulator of intestinal peristalsis and the provider of bulk. If we are not taking accurate amount of carbohydrate, then what will happen? Lake of carbohydrate results to underweight, rapid weight loss, general weaknesses, poor physical performance, fainting or collapse, and severe deficiency, hypoglycemia, and acute carbohydrate deficiency. Excessive carbohydrate may result in dental caries, obesity, overweight, and diabetes, and the gas formation. So now, second category of macronutrient is fat. Definition. Fat, also known as lipids. It is an organic nutrient containing carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen attached in a glycerol base. One gram of fat is equal to 9 calories, and the total requirement of fat per day is 20 to 30 percent. It remains in the stomach for the longest period of time. A good approach when it comes to breaking up your fat calories is to eat 40% of your daily fat grams at breakfast, 40% between your midday meals, and 20% at dinner time. It is important to avoid fatty foods at night. It can take 2 to 4 hours for fat to digest so if you eat it too late in evening your body won't have as much time to utilize this energy before storing it bile contains bile salts which act as an emulsifier of lipids this breaks the large fat droplets into the smaller droplets that are then easier for the fat digesting enzymes pancreatic lipase to digest. Fat are mainly digested in the small intestine. Classification of fats. First is simple lipid, which is neutral fats. Chemical name is triglycerides and glycerol is derived from a water soluble form of carbohydrate. Second is compound lipids. Combination of fats with, with other components like uh, important in human nutrition under compound lipids are phospholipids a fatty acid phosphoric acid and nitrogenous base under phospholipids are lecithin which is most widely distributed and it traced placed in liver 
egg yolk and vegetable oils. Lecithin added to food products such as cheese and margarine to, a, to help emulsification. Second is cephaline, needed to, to form thromboplastin for blood clotting. Third is sphygomyelin, which is found in brain and other nerve tissues, serve as insulator around nerve fibers. Second is glycolipids fatty acid combined with the CHO and the nitrogen. Third is lipoprotein, lipids combination of protein. Under lipoprotein are chylomicrons, transport di diet, derived lipids, mostly triglycerides. Second is pre-beta lipoprotein, VLD, very low density lipoprotein. Fat circulating in the blood during fasting state. Third is beta lipoprotein, LDL, low density lipoprotein, transport in the arterial wall. Fourth is alpha lipoprotein, scavengers or good cholesterol. Third, derived lipids. Fat substances produced from fats and the fat compounds. First is fatty acid. Basic structural unit of fat. Under fatty acids are saturated fatty acid or palmitic or stearic acid. Example are butter, grated coconut, coconut cream, coconut oil, cream cheese, sandwich spread, whipping cream. Second is monounsaturated. Oleic acid example are avocado, peanut butter, peanut oil, peely nuts, olive oil, and shortening. Third is polyunsaturated fatty acid. Linoleic acid, vegetable oils example are corn, soybean, and sunflower. Second is glycerol. Water soluble component of gly triglycerides available for the formation of glucose in the diet. Third is steroids. Fat related substances that contain sterols main member in this cholesterol. Important constituent of body cells and tissues. Food rich in cholesterol are egg yolk, organ meat, Sell fish, dairy products, butter, milk, cheese, and ice cream. Functions of fats. Fats supplies food energy in concentrated form of body activities. It protects vital body tissues and insulates the body. It supplies essential fatty acids. It serves as a carrier of the fat soluble vitamins. Fat adds palatability and the satiety value which is sense of fullness to your meals. Lack of fat in the diet results in underweight, sluggishness, skin irritation similar to eczema in infants and the sign and symptom of fat soluble vitamin deficiency. If we are taking fat in excessive amount then it will uh, results to obesity overweight and cardiovascular disease now let's talk about the third part of micronutrients which is protein definition protein is an organic compound containing carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen protein derived from the greek word proteos meaning to hold the first place or the prime importance building blocks are called amino acid. About 10 to 15 percent of total energy is required from protein and one gram of protein is equal to four calories upon complete hydrolysis. Protein digestion occur in the stomach and the duodenum in which three main enzymes pepsin secreted by the stomach, tricep, tapsin and chymotypsin secreted by the pancreas. Break down food proteins into polypeptidase 
that are then broken down by the various exopeptidases and the dipeptidases into amino acids. Protein is digested and absorbed in the small intestine. Simple proteins. Albumin is soluble in water coagulated by heat. Albumin is a protein made by our liver. Albumin keeps fluid in our bloodstream so it does not leak into other tissues and it carries various substances throughout our body including hormone vitamins and enzymes coagulated by heat means that the change into the state from liquid to solid by heat second is globulin globulin is insoluble in water soluble in salt solution coagulated by heat globulins are family of globular proteins that have higher molecular weight than the albumin and are insoluble in pure water but dissolve in dilute salt solutions some globulin are produced in our level while others are made by our immune system according to essentiality first essential amino acid or indispensable amino acids it is one that cannot be synthesized by the body example histidine phenylalanine isoleucine theronine leucine tryptophan lysine valine methionine second is semi essential amino acid or semi indispensable amino acid it reduces a need for a particular essential amino acid and partially spares it examples arginine tyrosine cysteine glycine serine third is non essential amino acid it is not di- dietary essential because the body can synthesize it example glutamic acid aspartic acid alanine proline norleucine sertraline hydroxyglycine hydroxyproline functions of protein proteins build and repair body tissues for growth and maintenance enzymes that break down their substrates are called catabolic enzymes enzymes that build more complex molecule from their substrate called anabolic enzymes anabolism means repairing worn out body tissues catabolism means continued wear and tear going on in the body proteins also builds resistance to infection by helping form antibodies supplies an additional energy contribute to numerous body secretion and fluid and maintain water balance source of protein animal source like egg milk milk product meat fish poultry and seafoods plant source like cereals wheat rice corn and legume means mungo beans peas peanut soya bean processed vegetable protein are veg meat and tofu lack of protein results in retarded growth in children low resistance to infection at any age slow recovery from illness low birth weight protein energy malnutrition like marasma and kwashior kor loss of weight edema skin lesions and mental sluggishness protein energy malnutrition first kwashior kor protein deficiency a disease caused by severe shortage of protein associated with post weaning diet increase cells and decrease in quality and quantity protein unusual set is from 1 to 6 year old edema in large liver due to accumulation of fat altered skin hair pigmentation and moon's face second marasmus protein calorie deficiency a disease caused by inadequate protein and calories from semi starvation resulting from mother's failure to nurse nourish her infant onset is from 6 to 4 6 months to 4 year old with loss of subcutaneous fat very underweight and old man face is observed effect of excessive protein intake first kidney function high protein diet increase work of kidneys second mineral losses increase protein diet calcium excretion rises third obesity increase 
protein diet increase intake rich fat food fourth heart diseases food rich in animal protein rich and saturated fats fifth cancer increase in protein diet increases rich saturated fat food intake now micronutrients vitamins definition vitamins came from latin word meaning of vita is life and amine means nitrogen compound they don't provide us any kind of energy but merely help to convert the food into energy bile is needed for absorption of fat soluble vitamins coenzyme for energy metabolism of carbohydrate protein and fat classification of vitamins first is fat soluble vitamins it dissolve in fat before they are absorbed in the blood stream not absolutely needed daily from the food sources it also have precursor precursor means that compound that can be changed to active vitamins and it stored in the body and deficiency develops slowly examples vitamins a d e and k second is water soluble vitamins it dissolve in water and are not stored in the body absolutely needed daily because excess excreted in the urine do not have precursor and deficiency develops fast examples vitamin b complex and vitamin c so now fat soluble vitamins first vitamin a absorbed through lymphatic system and portal blood to liver functions of vitamin a are it helps to maintain normal vision keep lining of the mouth nose throat and respiratory tract healthy it helps skin and hair glossy teeth strong promotes the growth maintains the stability of the cell membranes and assist in immune reaction food source of vitamins a are liver egg yolk dairy product green and yellow and orange fruits and vegetables second vitamin d it can be warmed or kept for longer period of time without deteriorating calcium phosphorus absorption and bone mineralization functions of vitamin d are it helps to build and maintain strong bones and sound teeth absorb calcium and phosphorus and promotes the normal growth and development source of vitamin d are dairy products egg yolk and fatty fish now third vitamin e tocopherol or are stored in adipose tissues aided by bile and fats stable to heat and acid functions of vitamin e are vitamin e maintain nerves muscles and healthy reproductive system helps to protect tissues and membranes against the damage of oxidation helps in the formation of blood blood cells and it in the utilization of vitamin k food source of vitamin e are vegetable oils nut seeds and whole grains vitamin k synthesized by the normal intestinal flora maintenance of prothrombin level in blood plasma functions of vitamin k are it helps in the normal clotting of the blood increases calcium absorption and maintains the strong healthy bone source of vitamin k are green vegetables second is water soluble vitamins vitamin c ascorbic acid easily absorbed from small intestine functions of vitamin c are it increases the body resistance to infection it helps keep gums and teeth healthy helps in the absorption of iron and calcium in the body it helps in the formation of rbc and prevents scurvy and act as an antioxidant food source of vitamin c are citrus fruit kiwi cabbage strawberries tomato and melons now vitamin b complex Vitamin B complex is composed of 8 B vitamins. Those are B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9 and B12. It has short life that needs to be replaced continually. Boiling meat 15 to 40% loss of vitamin B. Frying 40 to 50% loss of vitamin B. Roasting 30 to 60% loss of vitamin B. Remember the lo- lost vitamins are transferred to the cooking liquids it is best turn these liquids to sauces and gravies 
vitamin B1, thiamine or thiamine enables the body to use carbohydrate as energy. Functions of vitamin B1 It is essential for glucose metabolism and it plays a key role in nerves, muscles and prevent beriberi or nutrition polyneuritis plays a key role in nerves for a healthy condition, muscle nerve function and promote good appetite and normal digestion and promote the good growth. Vitamin B2 Riboflavin Coenzymes for energy metabolism It is essential for protein, fat and carbohydrate, carbohydrates metabolism. Vitamin readily destroyed in cooking Functions of Vitamin B2 it keeps eyes and skin healthy, helps in normal functioning of nervous system and promotes the growth. Food sources of vitamin B2 Pork, grains, cereal products, meat, fish, green leafy vegetables. Now vitamin B3 Niacin Coenzymes for energy metabolism Functions of vitamin B3 it promotes normal digestion and keeps nerve in healthy condition, keeps skin healthy and promotes the growth. Food source of vitamin B3 are whole grains, legumes, green vegetables, meats, fish, nuts and eggs. Now, vitamin B5, panthothenic acid. Functions of vitamin B5 are essential for carbohydrate, protein and fat metabolism. Maintenance of normal growth, healthy skin and integrity of central nervous system and coenzyme for energy metabolism. Food source of vitamin B5 are whole grain, spinach and broccoli, legumes, vegetable oils of corn, now vitamin B9 known as folic acid or folate. Functions of vitamin B9 are it helps in metabolism of genetic material like DNA and RNA. It helps to cure a form of anemia, poor growth and birth defects. Synthesis of DNA which controls cells function, heredity and the tissues growth and regenerates the RBC and the essential for formation of WBC in the bone marrow. Food source of vitamin B9 are green leafy vegetables, nuts, legumes, grain products. Now vitamin B12 as cyanocobalamin or cobalamin, folate metabolism, nerve function, intrinsic factor, deficiency required lifetime treatment functions, facilitate maturation of our red blood cells protect the myelin or fatty material that transmit electrical impulses or messages between nerve cells. It helps to metabolize the carbohydrate, protein, fat and nucleic and folic acids in the body and normal functioning of all cells. Food source of vitamin B12 are foods of animal in or origin, fermented foods. Now. Next category of micronutrient is minerals. Minerals, the element in their simple inorganic form. Primary function of the small intestine is the absorption of nutrients and minerals found in the food. Phytates and oxalates and tannins which are compounds found in the food that can bind to calcium, iron, zinc and other minerals and interfere with their absorption. Here. Minerals are categorized into two categories. First is macronutrient minerals, second is micronutrient minerals. So let's discuss about it. Macronutrient minerals. First is calcium. 99% of calcium is present in our bones. Calcium is the major component of renal calculi, blood serum. Normal value is 4.5 to 5.5 milli equivalent per liter. Functions. Calcium build and maintain strong bones and teeth, promote normal blood clotting, regular heartbeat, cell metabolism and other muscles contractions, prevent recurs in children and osteomalacia in adults, lower risk to fracture. Food source of calcium are milk product, dark green leafy vegetables, salmon and or orange juice. Second is magnesium, blood serum normal value is 1.5 to 3.0 milli equivalent per liter functions of the magnesium are helps to regulate the body processes including regulation of normal heart rhythm 
help in the normal functioning of the body enzymes relaxes the muscle after contraction promote the resistance to tooth decay by holding calcium in the tooth enamel enamel food source of magnesium are whole grain nuts legumes soya bean dark green leafy vegetables third is sodium chief cat iron in the extracellular fluid Second blood serum normal value is 135 to 145 milli equivalent per liter. Functions of the sodium are maintain proper water balance within the body, preserve the normal movement of the muscles, nerve impulse transmission. Food source are spinach, celery, pickles, canned soup, processed cheese. Potassium chief cation is in the intracellular fluid second blood serum normal is 3.5 to 5.5 milli equivalent per liter functions helps in muscle contraction nerve impulses and the proper functioning of the heart and kidneys regulate blood pressure and water balance in the cells imported in cho and cho and metabolism food source of potassium is bananas meat milk and legumes phosphorus important in ph regulation principal anion in the intracellular cell functions it help in proper bone and tooth development facilitates quick release of energy for muscles contraction transport lipids and fatty acid in the blood transport nutrient in and out of the cell prevent rickets and demineralization of the bone food sources milk products meat organ meat poultry seafoods legume cheese dried beans sunflower and pumpkin seeds nuts and whole grains sulfur sulfur play an important role in crucial functions in the body such as making protein regulating gene expression building and repairing the dna and helping the body to metabolize the food determine the contour of protein food source of sulfur is protein containing foods chloride it is a major anion in the extracellular flu- fluid chloride formation of the gastric juice functions it helps to maintain the osmotic pressure and acid base equilibrium in the body helps to balance the ph level of the body maintains the strong acidity of the stomach as part of hcl so second category of minerals is micro nutrient minerals under its com- iron component of hemoglobin ferrous sulfate with the meal orange juice and black dairy stools jet track method is used for intramuscular injection ferrous is better than absorbed than ferric iron is in green leafy vegetable is poorly absorbed coffee taking iron iron absorption is reduced type of iron hem iron found only in meat fish and poultry non hem iron found in cereals and vegetables functions of iron helps to build and maintain the blood supply and give the healthy red blood color and prevent simple anemia food source are liver red meat organ meat egg yolk green and red mango soya bean next is copper it is essential trace mineral necessary for survival plays an a role in making red blood cells and maintaining nerve cells and the immune system it also helps the body to form collagen and absorb the iron and play a role in energy production functions it helps the body to use iron and it helps to build the hemoglobin in the blood it takes part in the metabolism ascorbic acid in the body it also helps the body to use fatty acid food sources are organ meat egg yolk oysters nuts seeds and whole grains iodine 
it is a mineral com component of the hormone thyroxine function of iodine are it helps in normal functioning of the thyroid gland in regulating energy metabolism it also helps in protein synthesis tissue growth and reproduction prevent the goiter food sources seafood seaweeds iodized salt magnesium constituent of the vitamin b1 contributes to many bodily functions including the metabolism of amino acid cholesterol glucose and carbohydrates the human cannot produce magnesium but it can store it in the liver pancreas bones kidney and brain a person usually obtain magnesium from their diet functions of magnesium are magnesium is an essential constituent for bone structure reproduction and normal functioning of the nervous system it take part in the enzymatic action in the body food sources are nuts cereals legumes dried fruits green leafy and non leafy vegetables cobalt cobalt is constituent of vitamin b12 function of cobalt are it form cobalamin or vitamin b12 that helps to treat a certain type of anemia food sources liver poultry salt water fish next is zinc it is an antioxidant mineral functions of zinc are it is a vital for growth and development a synthesis of cell protein formation of dna and rna proper functioning of the immune system it is vital for the development of male reproductive function especially for the formation of the testosterone making of sperm it helps the wound to heal fast next is taste acuity food sources are meat milk legumes nuts poultry fish and whole grain cereals and bread next is fluoride functions of fluoride are it helps to prevent to tooth decay favor disposition of calcium thereby strengthening of the bones food source of fluoride are fluor fluoridated water and the toothpaste selenium it is an antioxidant mineral function of selenium are it, it is serve as an integral component of certain enzymes it act as an antioxidants which helps to fight the cell damage helps to prevent certain type of protein energy malnutrition it regulates proper immune response helps in proper functioning of the heart muscles food sources are organ meats cereals and dairy products next is chromium function of chromium is it takes part in glucose metabolism it helps to the body to use carbohydrates and fat it stimulates synthesis of fatty acid and the cholesterol of in the liver food sources of chromium are corn oil corns cereals and vegetables and meat third type of micronutrient is water 60 to 70% the total body weight is water next is deprivation of the 10% of water illness and 20% death next to oxygen for maintenance of life 45 liters water found in the body of normal adults and 30 liters intracellular which means inside or within the cells 15 liters extracellular which means outside the cells the large intestine observe water and the changes the waste from the liquid into the stool functions of water it act as solvent for all products of digestion and it is also known as universal solvent next is water carries nutrient to the tissues it removes waste product from the tissues it helps to regulate the body temperature and the acid base balance it send messages between cells so you can think and see touch and hear and feel and move so i hope this video will help you to enhance your knowledge regarding nutrition so thank you for watching it and be safe do like leave a comment and share with your friends